next problem for us, avid runner Katie to get a much needed treatment once and for all. I've been athletic my entire life and recently started running marathons. Eight months ago, um, I started to incur some knee pain and I went to a physical therapist, I got an MRI and no one could figure out what my issue was, but I knew I had a knee issue. I went to physical therapy for months and the pain just progressively got worse. So my orthopedic surgeon was still at a loss and recommended that I go to see Dr. Sampson. I understand you're here for some knee discomfort. I run a lot and it's now getting to the point where it hurts to even walk. And I, I really don't know what it is, but the pain is definitely there. Okay, and was there any specific trigger or trauma that caused this? I found myself um, running up a hill one day on my normal three mile loop and it just felt like there was a knife in my knee. Okay, can you point to me where the pain is? It's right on the bone right around here, and it kind of radiates within this area. So I'd like to do an ultrasound to take a look at your knee. It shows me great imaging of your tendon to determine if there's anything wrong with your tendon. In the case that the imaging doesn't show anything too significant, we might start looking towards evaluating the nerves beneath the skin surface. I'd like to do a very simple injection just to the nerves beneath the skin. You may find immediate pain relief. Okay. I'm here with Katie and physiatrist Dr. Steve Sampson. Welcome to you both to the show. Thank you. A and you were telling me you, you had this injection done. Two days ago. So you had the injection done two days ago. Yep. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I've had two four mile runs and I've had no pain, which has never happened. And, and what did you diagnose Katie as having? So Katie had a mild tear within a tendon that attaches on the outside of her leg. So what we did was we injected dextrose in water, which targets a nerve just beneath the skin surface that can control her pain and cause pain deeper into the tendon. Does this mask the pain or is she actually getting relief of that, that partial tear? This will help in two ways. One, immediate relieving pain, and two, helping heal the structure deeper. This is different than a typical prolotherapy. We're injecting beneath the skin surface to these nerves. These nerves get swollen and sick and leak a chemical that we call substance P and another one called CGRP. That leads to swelling, pain, inflammation, tendon injury, triggers an immune response and leads to cartilage injury and arthritis. It's not currently FDA approved, but the ingredients of basically sugar and water is the same thing you've probably used to hydrate people Absolutely. in the emergency room. We found by taking a baby acupuncture-like needle, we're able to target these nerves, and within seconds, people's pain shuts off. So patients like Katie that may have had pain where they say, it hurts when I press here, within seconds without injecting an anesthetic like lidocaine or cortisone, their pain's completely gone. And one of the things we we're learning here is that there's so much that goes into pain and we're learning more and more as time passes. There are so many therapies and this is about figuring out which ones work. Katie, I think what you really care about is you're feeling better at least yeah, for the time being, absolutely. right? absolutely. And so the one good thing you did is the conservative therapy. And for mm -hmm. anyone out there dealing with a musculoskeletal injury, injuries to muscles, bones, tendons, you know, the conservative therapy first. Rest it, ice, elevate the extremity. If you're continuing to have problems, then mm -hmm. you got to look into alternative therapies like this, and, mm -hmm. and you never know. But thank you so much for sharing thank it with you. us, Dr. Samson. Katie, glad to see you're doing thank better. You. Thanks for coming on.